Hey, hey guys, welcome back. My name's Clayton. You're watching our channel, Runs in Our Blood. This morning, I did a little bit of squirrel hunting. Ended up getting three squirrels. The season is ending soon. It ends on March 6th, so I figured we'd go out and get a few before it ends. We're gonna throw them in the Instapot here with some rice, pressure cook them. We're gonna do a side of some cauliflower and broccoli. I'm gonna take you guys back, show you a little bit of the action from this morning. After that, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I clean them, and then uh, I will see you guys back here in a few. It was like 38 degrees this morning. Whew, trying to ride this four wheeler with no gloves on. Oh! <laughs> this Florida boy ain't used to this. <laughs> this is ridiculous. And then y'all hear him. free-handed shot. Oh, I see another one back there, too. He gone. Come on, fall. Ba Boom! Oh, there's that other one. It's hard to shoot them free-handed. That's two down, two shots, two down. That's what I'm talking about, and I heard a third one. Straight to the dome. Okay, and that other one was straight through here. All right, let me see where where I shot him at. I might have to go back to where I took the shot. Oh, there he is. Good Lord. Right on top of him. Straight to the dome. Oh, 
We got two. Uh-oh, and my gun's jammed up. What's up with that? Now you don't hear them barking. <laughs> They're on the other side of the canal. Unfortunately, we don't own that anymore. They're just over there taunting me. I don't hear any over here on this side. I think I'm gonna go back. Mm, all right. Well, we still only got the two. Whew. And I just took one heck of a walk. Oh, I think I'm gonna head to a different location. I got him. Where the hell did the other one go? I guess we only got the one. All right, you guys. I'm going to show you how to, how to skin these squirrels the way I like to do it three of them. First, you need a really sharp knife. I like these, I don't know, they're called Outdoor Edge, Razor Light, basically a razor blade. You can uh, replace a little razor blade piece on it. I like to come in right here, right here around their hind end, right between their tail and the poop chute, and just make a little cut, just a little cut. You just wanna make sure you get through that tail, that, that bone on their tail. There. And once you get through that, just make sure you get through that tailbone. All right, through the tailbone. Set him down here on something hard. Try to get a good grip on him. I mean, he's clean. And once you get him down there, you no hair on you. And you just take his, his front legs, and just pull them out of there. And you gotta pull them all the way out because we're just gonna cut, cut them off. And then right there, and then we're just gonna cut it right there. And then do the same thing with the other side. In there. And pull it out. Oop, that one come all the way out. Yeah, might as well pull that one out too. And we'll just cut them off like right there at the wrists. Right, see that side? Cut it off right there at the wrist. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and take the back part off. Well, it's really you just find a place you can grab. Pull. Just try to keep the hair off of it. Just 
slowly work them back legs out. That legs out. And just work, work it up where you can get something to grab a hold of. Just pull him out. some hair on him. Wash him off real good. Alright, just take a knife and just cut him off right here and where I said You got him like that you just cut his head off. If you get it just right, you can get that knife in there and it'll just, his damn head will just fall right off. Now, I'm not going to show you how to gut him on here, but uh, basically I just make a little incision right down here, go all the way up, cut through the middle of his ribs, and then just basically just pull everything out. And once you get everything out, you can split him right through down here. And uh, just clean him out, wash him out, and he's ready to go in the pressure cooker. All right, so that's how we do it. I just got these all seasoned up. Got the Instapot set on saute. I seasoned these with just, I just threw a bunch of seasoning on them. Uh, what I do, pepper onion powder garlic uh and some salt uh i don't know we'll see Go in there. and i only did one side of them uh, we're gonna do these bad boys <laughs> get them all hopefully they fit yeah Just get them seared a little bit, yeah. Just char them a little bit, get some of that flavor on them. We'll sear them for, I don't know, until they get good and seared, and then uh, add a little bit of water and pressure cook them. I think we pressure cook them on a high pressure for probably four to five minutes. Let it do a natural release. And then we'll come back in, add more water, add the rice, and then cook it again. And then it'll be all, then it'll be all done. All right. What you're looking for, a little bit of crust on them. Go ahead and flip them and let them go for another couple minutes. And then add the water and start pressure cooking them. Okay, well I'm hungry. I ain't got time to wait for the natural release. So we're just gonna go ahead and release it. No limb rats in there. A hard day. <laughs> so after we got done sauteing them, we ended up adding like a cup of water to pressure cook them. And then they just got done pressure cooking. We pressure cooked them for five minutes. With the, all the juices in there, it looked like there was still like a cup of liquid in there. And we're doing four servings of rice, so it called for two cups of liquid. So we're just adding, what, one cup of water? Yeah, to the already cup know. of water. <laughs> we'll see. The way we like to cook our broccoli, cauliflower, pretty much anything. Uh, what else is it that we like to eat? Zucchini, squash. Zucchini, basically butter. Dump it in there, just saute it. It doesn't get too overdone. We'll put some soy sauce in there with it. 
should just saute it. The biggest thing is not over overdoing it. You don't want it too mushy. You want it, you want it to have a little bit of crunch to it. Well, the veggies are good. Let's see how the limb wrap tastes. Tender. I mean, it's just just fall off the bone. Tender. Yeah, it just falls off the bone. It's definitely, it's the only way to eat it in the pressure cooker. We tried frying it before, and this still stays a little tough. It depends, you know, on like the age. I think, well. My grandmother says that if you get some young squirrels, they're more tender. And the last time we could definitely tell. We fried them and some were some were tough, some were really tender, and I'm assuming that's because some of them were old and some of them were young. In the pressure cooker, they're all equal. They're all tender. I say that's the only way to do them. And then with the rice, you put salt, pepper, butter on there with them. And they just fall apart. Huh. That's how to do it. Gravy. You might also make gravy and put on top. Oh yeah, damn gravy would be damn good on it. Brown gravy. Yeah. Which I think the first time that's what we did. We sauteed it in a separate pan. And then we did it, I think. Was it? Mm-hmm. Because yeah. we had a gravy. Mm-hmm. If you have to, go over to your neighbor's house, shoot their squirrels. Just go out and get your hands on some squirrels and pressure cook them. We're going to finish up this meal. Like, subscribe if you enjoyed the videos, and we will see you guys on the next adventure. Take care.